Friends and family members, it is now indeed my honor and privilege to announce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Noah Flanagan. It's a day that both of you have been looking forward to and dreaming about for quite some time. Carry on. You shared with me uh, that uh, you knew Noah was special and tried to ask him out for quite some time. Noah is a young man who loves you and he loves Jesus. And recently it was my privilege to be able to baptize him. He gave his life to Jesus Christ. Wow. And now he's given his life to you. Just look at your beautiful bride. You really should have jumped at the chance to date her from day one. the first day of class his freshman year at IU. Go Hoosiers, baby. We instantly clicked. Even from the beginning of Carly and I becoming friends, I'd heard about this Noah character, but it was always, we're just friends, we met in middle school, we're just friends. Until one day, it wasn't just friends anymore. It was me in college, driving around these three young women taking them to and from classes, saving them from whatever situation they might have got themselves into. I would say I was quite happy to have Noah show up and have another guy to talk to. One day Carly goes, hey, I'm gonna go get coffee with Noah. I'll be back in a couple hours. Four hours later, and Carly finally shows back up to the apartment. The only thing she said was, he asked if he could kiss me before he did. Noah, you really are a man that's working hard and you, you love and respect Carly and you demonstrate that and that's testimony to what your parents have done all these years raising you. Rob actually coached Carly under eight we were talking about. Softball way back when. And it's kind of in the who to thunk territory right? we end up here today. Since the day I met you all the way back on the softball fields when we were 12, I knew you were someone special. We may not have connected for many years to come, but when you reached out to me my freshman year of college, I knew you were the one. I used to look at my friends who were in relationships and want what they had. But little did I know, God kept me waiting for someone even better than I could have dreamt or prayed for, it, and that someone was you.
few years ago, I heard God speak to me the way he does in the movies. I've heard him telling me to marry you. Looks like we're doing it, huh? Dear Lord, I just ask that you put your hand on both of us and guide us into our marriage. Amen. Going into our marriage, I vow to lead our family toward God. I vow to put Him first and you right behind Him. I vow to never stop reminding you how beautiful you are, how much you mean to me, how much I love you. For God has joined together, let no man separate. Noah, you may kiss your bride. I know that I'll be wrong when I say I'm happier now than I'll ever be because I get to wake up next to you every day. I'll always love and cherish you like you can't believe. So I ask one last time, will you be my wife? You will? <laughs>